Daily News Podcast. I'm your host, Shanna Folds, and I'm here to get you caught up quickly. I've got some top news stories for you today from Israel. The last podcast, which came out on Monday, I left you all thinking that National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gavir was not going to go up to the Temple Mount. Shortly after the podcast was published, he changed his mind and took a 13-minute stroll up the Temple Mount. Now, some listeners of this podcast actually reached out to me to tell me that in the last podcast, I said the Temple Mount was an important place for Jews as well as Muslims. Well, currently, Jordan is the custodian for the Temple Mount, despite it is in Jerusalem, which is the official capital of Israel. A daily listener of our show named Rabbi Yehuda Levi, who lives in Jerusalem, contacted me to talk about the significance of the Temple Mount and wanted to give it some credit. He is the director of outreach for Yeshivat Har Habayit and the co-founder of High on the Har. Har means mountain, Hebrew. He leads groups up to the Temple Mount with his team, and they say the organization is committed to ensuring the daily rite of ascension, increasing the number of visitors on the mountain, teaching Torah, leading daily prayer services, and normalizing Jewish presence and fighting for equal rights and access to the Temple Mount for everyone. Keep in mind that Jewish prayer is not supposed to be allowed on the Temple Mount because the Muslims feel it is not respectful to them as the Temple Mount has a big mosque on top of it today where they pray. This is a holy spiritual place for them and is considered the number three most important location in Islam. Now, one thing that Rabbi Levi went over with me is that the Temple Mount is actually the most important place for Jews. I'm going to get into that a little bit later. According to the Israeli law, there is freedom of expression of religion all throughout the state of Israel for everyone. And the Supreme Court officials decided that there is a legal right to pray on the Temple Mount. But if there is a security concern, police can invoke their feeling to not disturb the peace. So if they were to see a Jew prostrating him or herself in prayer going down, for example, on the Temple Mount, they could choose to arrest that person and ban them because it could potentially cause turmoil for the Muslim worshipers there. Now, for your information, the Temple Mount closes to non-Muslims at 1.30 in the afternoon during the winter and 2.30 in the afternoon during summer. Non-Muslims are not allowed to be on the Temple Mount during Muslim prayer times. Rabbi Levy says that according to Jewish tradition, the primary location of the service of God happens at Mount Moriah, today referred to as the Temple Mount. Jews that pray down at the Western Wall, which is below the Temple Mount, do so out of concern that they have not yet reached the proper level of holiness required to ascend. And therefore, they pray as close as they can off of the mountain. But ideologically, they wish that they could, in fact, be on the mountain itself. They think that they must wait until the Messiah comes so that they can reach that level of holiness. Those that do go up the mountain feel confident about it because they say that they are following the guidelines written out in the Torah and that therefore it's safe. Now, member of Knesset Itamar Ben-Gavir went up the mountain after he said that he would postpone that. And he went up accompanied by two of his aides and a rabbi. He went up, made his circle around the Temple Mount and came down all with a full police escort. Don't forget... He's now in charge of the whole police force, which used to be an independent institution and is now under his control in his new role as national security minister. That role never existed in Israel before. The night before, the police apparently told him there was no reason that he couldn't go up, so he did. The international community condemned it, saying that he was inciting Muslims. Rabbi Levi tells me that Ben Gvir has been making the trip up to the Temple Mount regularly for the last seven years. Israeli ministers have been going up to the mountain since 1967. But as far as I can see from my reporting, it's Ben Gvir's new position and title as national security minister, along with his international growing reputation in the media for being an aggressive racist 
that is causing the real stir here. Despite he's been going up and doing this for seven years, now he's got a lot of publicity and it's causing quite the chaos. Rabbi Levy is close to Ben Gvir and his wife. He says the man hasn't broken the status quo.